Welcome back to the verdict. Well, it does appear as though much later by 11 a.m. Some politicians will have big smiles on their faces. Others will grin. Others will frown because somebody has to win. Someone has to lose. But perhaps how they lose may be the, uh, the key thing here. But let me also get to Mr. Chima Amadi, who is a former executive director, Center for Advocacy and Transparency, also joining us from Abuja. Well, Mr. Amadi, you've also uh, kept an eye on this process, much as there may be several reports. What's your reading of what's going on at the moment? Uh, I think, um, like they would say, the die is cast. The results are now trickling in. And um, we must commend the INEC for its resilience. Uh, we, have, we are getting lots of shocks around, around the country. And so for those, like one of your um, uh, in-house analysts was saying, talking about voter apathy being induced by um, the doubts of many people whether their votes will count. So I think the results are showing that, uh, indeed, that people's votes will count, and it's actually counting. When you have uh, people like all traditional election winners losing elections that they were not expected to lose in the, in the first instance, you see what is happening in places like Quara and Akwai Bom and other places, that tells you that the people are, are, are speaking and that the, the umpire, to a very large degree, has um, delivered on his avowed mandates to ensure that only what happened on the day of voting will determine who gets Nigeria's mandate and not in the very comfortable offices of um, the INEC here in uh, Abuja. Uh, but we're also getting very disturbing reports of um, attempts by the political class to gain the system as it were. Uh, we're talking about yeah, very severe pressure on returning officers, resident electoral commissioners, coalition officers to, you know, change figures. And um, just this morning, we are receiving uh, reports that of what is happening in Oweri, in Imo State, the Imo State capital. And uh, this, this is not uh, in any way, uh, uh, it doesn't gladden the heart. However, having said that, uh, I think it is important that um, we commend the processes so far uh, that has been put in place. And I, I think that um, vigilance alone is what will uh, eventually guarantee that uh, ultimately votes count. Well, Mr. Madi, what report exactly are you getting? I mean, uh, Mr. Ko is here. He could help shed some light on it. Could you be a little more specific, if you can? Yes, um, Imo, Imo State is becoming, um, is becoming a, a debacle. Uh, first of all, you, you, if you have been following the trend in Imo State, you would um, have noticed that uh, elections took place there very late, late deployments, uh, which uh, from available information from observers and what we now know was um, triggered by all kinds of um, pressures on uh, officers that are supposed to do their job and all kinds of sabotage, uh, which has now led to a situation where reports, you know, late early this morning, talking about candidates storming uh, collision centers, uh, returning officers refusing to continue to announce results because they are being threatened or put under pressure to you know, announce results one way or the, or the other. Just before I came, I came um, on the studio, uh, I was made aware of um, uh, a situation where a, in a senatorial district in, in Oweri, uh, the Olu zone, a situation where you know, the returning officer there is alleging that his life is under threat and that he's being asked to announce results that uh, has not been properly authenticated. And this is in the media already. The premium times is reporting it. Uh, various groups, uh, observer groups are reporting it. And it's a very serious situation. But what is, what is gladdening, uh, what is encouraging, is that um, the officers there, are, they, they are holding the beat. They are refusing to be compromised. They are insisting on going ahead to do what they have been mandated to do, which is to ensure that only results that are cast by Nigerians on the election day is actually what counts. And so some of these things 
uh, we should be discouraged when the political class begins to mount unnecessary and unbearable pressure on officers that are supposed to just do their job and go home.